All right, in today's video, we're going to talk about self-worth. Number one, we're going to talk about that if you don't believe that you deserve it, you will not get it. I'm here to tell you, everything starts first. People got it backwards. I used to have it backwards. You think you're going to ask someone to give you a raise. You think you're going to ask someone to make you rich. You think you're going to ask someone to give you a bunch of money so you can end up making this big business and create. No, it starts on the inside first. When you make it right on the inside, when you train yourself on the inside, people will do things for you that will blow your mind to help you become successful. Not because they're trying to give you a handout. It's because they see that you look like and you have the feeling and the look and everything matches of a person who is trying to really do something for themselves. And it also, you have to, the value comes from the inside first. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I went from my $6.52 an hour job back in 1990 when I was a security guard at a local college all the way up to where I'm at now, my biggest month, which was last month. Well, no, this month is going to be about $500,000. Now, think. yes, it does feel good to be a man, to be an individual who makes $500,000 or more in a month. That feels great. But what I'm going to show you that it does not, it, you don't, you may not react the same way because I don't react the same way that I thought I would have reacted making that type of money per month. And it's because I believe I deserve it and I believe I deserve more, but there's like a balance that you got to have. So watch the video. People don't, some people not, there, there's some good uh, mentors on online. We're going to go into my conference room here in my office. I'm here early to make this video, especially for you to help you get to where you want to be. Now, before I get to the video, you need to get yourself, get your body moving, stand up, put your arms into the victory pose because you're going to be a winner. Things are going to start changing. It has a change inside of you first, and then you will start to see it change on the outside. Stephen A. Williams with Making Money with Stephen A. Williams here on YouTube. Did you know that there's a war going on inside of your mind? You don't even know it. You have a war going on inside of your mind. It's from your subconscious mind and your conscious mind. So just in case you don't know, you've probably seen some videos or maybe you haven't. Your subconscious mind is like a computer. It runs everything. It stores everything. If you can imagine a computer screen and it has all of these icons on there and it, when you click one of those icons in your subconscious mind, like let's just do a simple one, how to drive a car or how to ride a bicycle or how to turn on a computer or how to go to the bathroom. Uh, Reverend Ike gave that one there. He was like, there's something when you learn how to do it, you'll always know how to do it. You don't have to teach yourself stuff that's in your subconscious mind. You don't have to teach yourself to go and learn how to do it. That's where it's stored. And that's great because then that makes our lives a lot easier, but it makes the war between your conscious mind, which is you listen to me consciously, you hear me, uh, you see a car coming, it, it, you know, all the stuff, that's what you consciously see. And that's new stuff. So the war is between your conscious mind, seeing stuff that you want, thinking about things that you want for your life, how you want to make improvements, all of that stuff. And then you have your conscious mind where everything is stored and there's like a battle going on because when you consciously try to do something and then you start to try to do it, you're wondering why is it so difficult for me to make these changes? That's because you have that battle in your subconscious mind where everything is stored with the way that you do want it to be. Because remember the subconscious mind makes it easier. So this is the thing. This video is about self-worth. I'm going to show you what I utilize to, to improve my lifestyle, to make more money, to be able to make changes. And I believe that you want to, that you value yourself, but I'm going to show you that you may not be value you, valuing yourself in the amounts that you, to, to match what you consciously want yourself to be valued at. I'm going to prove that to you. 
Now, if you can make, I'm going to show you how you can make some simple changes to your thought process that will make incredible changes in your life. I'm talking about almost instantly, you will feel it. But also when I do this and I, I do it to myself too, you're going to feel a little bit of resistance and that resistance is going to come from your subconscious mind. And the reason why is because you've told your subconscious over and over and over and over and over again, this is the way that I'm comfortable. So you have to believe on the inside first. You have to train your subconscious mind that what you are saying and what you are doing is what you actually want because your subconscious mind is going to constantly try to draw from those icons and say, uh, Steve said he wants to make this change to make more money, but we let's, let's do it like a test. Do you really want to do it? Because it's going to bring up your procrastination icon. It's going to bring up your value of what you think you're worth with money icon. It's going to bring up the family, like what are your current uh, resources. It's going to bring up all of these different icons and it's going to force that into what you're trying to do consciously. And then if you're, it, what usually happens is people get tired. They get brain tired. And that's not because it's not something that's natural. It happens because the subconscious mind and you don't, you maybe don't even realize it. The other stuff that you've done, you did it over and over and over again to where it became automatic. And so really the subconscious mind is just doing its job. It's saying, if you really want this, you're going to do it over and over and over again until it's automatic. And this is exactly how I ended up increasing my income. So you want a better lifestyle. You want to have better, more choices in your life. Whatever that is, you want financial security. You want excitement in your life, but you don't want any, un, uh, you don't want any unwanted surprises. So now let's, Let's kind of go through this real quick. So here's your subconscious. And then here's your conscious mind. And I'm going to just, I'm going to use myself as the example because I was like, what is the best way for me to do this training? And the best way is to use, to tell you exactly what I was going through, my thought process. So here in 1990, I got out of the military and the best job that I could find was at a local college and it was a security guard job working 8 p.m. to 4 a.m. in the morning. But you, you got to do what you got to do. I'm 20 years old. You got to do what you got to do. You got you, you to uh, bring in money. So I'm making $6.52. Now, just so you understand, that it was lower than, it was 25 cents lower than that because they had gave me a raise. Because... I have this habit of whenever I go to work and do something, I'm going to try to be the best and try to increase my income. And the only way that I thought that, that at that time, at 20 years old, the way to increase your income is to become more valuable and see what they need so you can be able to move up. So I immediately, like after a month, said, how can I move up as a security guard? They said, well, you take this test and you could get this lieutenant, <laughs> move up to lieutenant. And I ended up taking the test and getting moved up. Like it was, it was really very simple, but it was $6.25 an hour. So knowing that that wasn't gonna work, sub, I mean, consciously I said, I need more. And I'm pretty sure that's what you're thinking. Like you need more, no matter what your income is right now, where you're getting it from, you're going to have this thing in your mind that say, I need more. Maybe you see people having nice stuff, whatever it is. You want more for your family, whatever that is. That's up to you. But in my mind, from what I remember, I was like, I need more. And the only way that I thought that I could get more was to own my own business. Like It was like, start a business. Tried a few things, but me and my wife ended up getting into the publishing business. Started a, a advertising magazine. At that time, our goal was just like, if we can make $6,000 a month, we are good. We based that off of what we thought, what, what, what our expenses were and what we wanted to have in our pocket. We just thought if we had $6,000, we were good. 6000 per month. 
That probably is very low to people right now, but that's how we were thinking in, in 1990. So now, subconsciously, this is what most people go through, but I believe that my wife and I were unique with this because we had actually studied uh, books and there, back then there were audio tapes about the subconscious mind and we always knew that if you, when you try to do something new, your subconscious mind, you have to reprogram your subconscious mind. You have to make the changes on the inside because if you don't make the changes on the inside, it's going to say, Steve, no, you've been working this job all the time. So it starts to bring up all of the things, either stuff that says you can't do it, uh, it, it, like it makes you see all these types of things that brings you back to this here. And you have to do stuff over and over and over again, train your subconscious mind that this is what you want, the new thing. Let me give you an example of bringing stuff into existence. Have you ever bought a car? You went and bought a car, and then all of a sudden you see that damn car all over the place. It, it, because it, your subconscious mind brings that into your awareness. It was always there, but it brings it into your awareness. It does the same thing when you try to make changes in your life. If you say, subconscious mind, I want to make $6,000 per month, what it's going to do is it's going to bring all of these things to your awareness to make your life easier, to make your life easier and say, no, you've been playing the record of $6.52 per hour. So what we did is we said, okay, we have to change our subconscious mind. We have to do work. And the way to do that work back then, what we did is we just said, okay, no matter how hard it got, we're going to keep moving forward, moving forward, moving forward. And eventually what starts to happen is that line changes and it starts to make this and it starts to understand and say, Okay, everything that you're trying to do to get to $6,000 a month, rather than working against you subconsciously, I'm going to start making stuff aware for you to see. Like there were certain things that we didn't see when you have this mindset that if you work hard and you keep doing what you got to do, you will start to become aware of things that will get you to the $6,000. Per month. There, let me give you an example of one that happened right off the bat that allowed me to quit the security guard job. Was we got a contract for two thousand dollars a week for two thousand dollars a week, even though it only lasted two weeks, but we got it for two thousand dollars a week. We were able to see that opportunity and was like, hey. Someone was, uh, was a grocery store saying that they were having a hard time. Back then, they used to pass out flyers around their neighborhood. They were like, people were throwing them away in the trash, doing all this stuff. And because we kept going around to businesses to see how we can help market them, we just happened to walk into one of the grocery stores, and they said, this is what the way we don't want to advertise in publications. We want someone to pass out flyers. Do you know someone who could do it? We were, me and my wife were like, yes, we could do it. And they were like, how do you know they're not going to get thrown in the trash? We were like, me and my wife, we'll do it. And it takes us all week, but we will guarantee that all of them will be passed out. Guaranteed, because it's going to be me and her. And we ended up getting a, a friend of ours to also help. So it was three of us paid him some good money and we did it also. But he ended up kind of messing up. So it ended up just being me and my wife. Um, and we did it for two weeks, and then they canceled the contract. We could have went back to that old subconscious uh, programming and said, oh, you don't deserve it, this and that. But no, we kept pushing through. Now, here's the thing that when I talk about the, the value, value in yourself. One of the things that I realized and that I was when I was going through my notes here is that uh, subconsciously and consciously, I had totally really wiped this away. This, this being a, going to work for that of money did not exist anymore in my subconscious mind or my conscious mind. There was no going backwards. Now, you might be saying to yourself, okay, well, how can that, how can you uh, do that? How can I do that? You might be saying, how could you do that? 
you can easily do it. And I'm going to tell you that you, and that was because what happened, I, I had a change internally about my self value, about what I believe I was worth. And there was no way that I would go back to doing that. As a matter of fact, I left the United States Army and I enjoyed my time in the military. It was only a short two years right out of high school. But I actually left the United States Army because they had told me at the time that I could not have a business to make more money. And I knew how much money I was making in there. And I was like, it's just not going to cut it. I ended up leaving and having to take a job that was $6.52 an hour. But that wasn't going to cut it. Because con subconsciously and consciously, I had a match that said, Steve, your value is more than that. And at that time, the value was $6,000. That's what the value was for me and my wife. We wasn't even at that amount yet, but we said, this is what we're targeting. And everything that we did, we pushed to that. Everything. And so if you want to think about this real quick, what do you believe you are worth? Because if right now, whatever amount of money you're making, Whatever amount, per hour, per week, salary, whatever it is, that's the amount that you believe that you're worth. And I know that that gets some people upset because they'll be like, well, I don't believe it. I, I believe I'm worth way more than that. I should be making $10,000 or $20,000 a week or a month or whatever it is. I'm just here to tell you that the amount of money that you're making right now is what you believe that you're worth. And I'm about to prove it take away, go to your job right now for whatever amount of money you're making right now and you tell them, okay, let me make less than what I'm making. And you might be saying, well, Steve, that doesn't make sense. It does make sense. You're only thinking of it from that direction. You need to train your subconscious mind to think of it from the other direction. Why aren't you making $10,000 a week? Why aren't you making $20,000 a week? Why aren't you making $100,000 a month? It's because you don't believe that you deserve that amount of money. And that's why I said you have a war going on in your mind. There's all this stuff that you see consciously that you want. You see the cars, maybe you see the trips, whatever it is. Nice home, the healthy bank account, whatever that is. Consciously you see it, but subconsciously you don't think that you deserve it. You don't believe that you deserve it subconsciously. So you had that war going on in your mind. So now let me move forward. My next mindset change was when I went from $6,000 to $10,000. And yes, you better bet that was per month. You better bet that when I got to $10,000, I would not do, I would not go backwards to work for $6,000 a month. There was things that I had to change on my subconsciously that I had to change. And there was other things that I had to change with the business. So now this is what you got to think about. The, 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 it's in the details. It's like the little bitty unspoken things that make it harder for you to get there. So rather than just saying, okay, I'm going to get the $10,000 a month. What are the little things that you got to do to be able to be a person to get to $10,000 a month. And what are the changes that you got to make in your mind? Back then, all we just did is just kept moving forward. Like we were actually doing it the hard way back then. Now with all of the different things that are available to us today, is just to really say to yourself, do you have mental blocks or do you have what's called a uh, capabilities block? Because you could, you could solve a lot of this stuff by just understanding the way that your body works the best. And then you get either people in place to do the, the, to do the, the work for you. Or you do the work and you get rid of those mental blocks. But still, even if it's a capabilities block where you just don't think that you're capable of doing it. Or you don't have the, the know-how to do something when you can even hire people, you're still going to go through the mental blocks or the mental, uh, um, the, the, the mental hurdles of being able to allow yourself to invest in other people, to be able to make things, to do the things that you're not capable of doing. So capability, if you don't have any mental blocks, 
and nothing is stopping you from believing in other people and investing in other people to do what you need to get done, you're going to get there a lot faster because my, my the business that my latest uh, success business went into uh, it's worth $52 million now. And that was a business that I just put everybody in place. I just invested the money, put everybody in place and it grew the fastest because I didn't have to worry about learning how to do this or learn how to do that. I got people who were capable of doing that very qualified and paid them very well. And look at where they got me in five years. So now, yes, you're going to have to do things consciously a little bit different and you're going to have to work on your conscious mind to say now, because just think about it, how with, with the uh, $5, I mean, with the $6.52, the same thing, the same process has to go through. You have to go through to change from being this amount. You got to erase it and start getting used to being this amount. It's crazy how that works because you would be like, well, why wouldn't you just want to make more money? Because there's certain different little bitty things that you got to do. Now, admittedly, when I would say all the way up to 65 no, I won't even say that. I would say I made it to 24000 a month before I had to make major changes. Before I had to make major changes. So with, with the, the business that my wife and I started in 1990, before I ended up hiring a lot of people, I was at $24,000 a month. I went all the way to sixty five to hundred k a month. And the changes that I had to make was number one is a lot of work on my subconscious mind on number one, believing that I'm a person who, uh, who, who should be making this kind of money because I had a, a crazy thing happen to me that I never expected is that I would see other people who were struggling, family members who were struggling, people who were, you know, I, they, they, they went to college smarter than me even attorneys that I knew that I came into contact with, with uh, advertising for them in my business. And I would start having this feeling on the inside that I was not worthy. And that, I, and, and what the crazy thing that happened is that because I had that feeling on the inside of my subconscious mind, I would run this roller coaster. So when things got good, I was like, oh, it has to dip down. And guess what I got? I had good weeks and then bad weeks, good weeks and bad weeks. I don't have that thought process at all inside of me anymore. It could just keep going up, and if something happens, it happens. But I don't have that thought process in my mind. But the changes that I had to make right here is I had to start trusting other people to do a job for me. I had to delegate out. And that goes into, number one, if you believe that you deserve to make $100,000 a month or sixty five thousand dollars or 24000 or all of that, you're going to have to make those changes. And those changes don't necessarily have to do with money. It's going to be, it's it's done like this. If you want to make, I'll say it like this. If you want to make $100,000 a month and you have, and to make $100,000 a month, you're going to have to spend $10,000 in advertising. Well, no, let's take away that because that's about money. To make $10,000 a month, you're going to have to learn from, I mean, $100,000 a month, you're going to have to learn what a person in your business, in your field does to make $100,000 a month. You're going to have to do the little things either consciously little things either subconsciously you're going to have to build your value and you're going to have to not take no for an answer i'm not talking about t t talking to other people taking no from an answer what i'm saying is you're not you can't take no from your subconscious mind as an answer that means that if something has to get done i remember i really remember when i was in this phase here there were some nights that I was up to two, three in the morning, like racking my brain on what things need to be changed in the business to be able to do it. I remember my wife saying, you need to come to bed. And I was like, I, I picked certain days because you, you can't do that to your family. So I picked certain days where I was like, I'm going to really focus in on the little things for the business and try to see what I can do to grow it. But what you got to do is you got to tell your subconscious mind, 
the, I'm going to start making the changes consciously to say, if I want to get to $100,000 a month, I'm going to first start believing 100% that I could be a person who makes $100,000 a month. And remember when I made the video earlier, the, the uh, intro video, and I said that uh, you, I didn't feel the same way that I thought that I would feel when I made $100,000 a month and when I made $500,000 a month this month. It, the reason why is because you do the work and you become that person. Like, do you get, let's just say, whatever income that you're making right now, do you go to work all full of excitement? Oh, I'm making uh, $1,000 a week. No, you believe you deserve $1,000 a week or $10,000 a week or $100,000 a week. You will believe that that is what you deserve so you don't get that type of excitement. Now, don't get me wrong. You are excited because you don't have the same type of money uh, problems that other people might have that don't have that much money or that don't make that much money. But you believe you deserve it. And that's the whole thing is once you subconsciously believe that you deserve it, all of this stuff here will start to materialize. It will start to happen for you. So the changes that you got to make is, so here, let's, let's review. Number one is that the change you got to make is on subconscious mind. The conscious mind sees all this stuff I need, I want, all of this comes into your awareness. Some conscious mind is going to work against you, not because it's trying to work against you. It's because it's already recorded what you want. You've already told it, I'm only worth this amount. So anything that you do to change that recording is going to take some work. And then once you keep working on it, and the way that you work on it is to just do what it takes to get there. And then at some point, at some point, it's going to rewrite the program and say, this is what he wants or she wants. It's going to just rewrite itself. It's going to, that other icon is just going to go into the background. It'll still be there, but it's just going to go into the background and then you're going to have a new predominant icon in your subconscious mind saying, okay, I can't work for this amount per hour anymore. I'm going to do everything that it takes to get to $10,000 a month or $10,000 a week, whatever that is for you. That's up to you. And once you deep down believe it, and once you get there, trust me, you will not go backwards. You will not go backwards. You will not say, okay, I'm okay with $10,000 a month and then, okay, I'm going to just go and go backwards to $6,000 a month. The only way you go backwards and accept the $6,000 a month or less is because you allow that icon that was dormant to come back, to come back up. Now, you might be saying, well, Steve, what about someone who loses, uh, you know, gets downsized or something? You, you have a choice to leave your job. You have a choice to leave your job. I know that that might sound harsh. You might be saying, well, uh, if I leave my job, then I won't have nothing. I won't be able to find nothing. Remember what I said earlier. That intro video is the key. Remember when I said no one is going to hand you anything. You got to stand yourself self up tall, and you have to be something that people can see. Like, this person is going to go somewhere. When people see that in you, and the only way they can see that in you is if you had that belief and that you're running that program on the inside, you will walk into a place that is going to pay you either the same amount that the company is trying to make you not be able to get anymore because they're downsizing, or they're going to pay you more. And that's because when you come inside of there, they see that you're worth more or that you're worth being able to pay them, pay you more money. I've even had this. People walk into my office and uh, or s send me resumes, and I've said, okay, uh, what amount are you looking to earn? I have some people that are like low ball, and I'm just here to tell you, when I see stuff in person low ball, I'm like, this, this person doesn't see the value in themselves, and it. this is how employers are thinking. There's like, uh, this person doesn't see their value, so 
uh, are they really going to be a hard worker? And then you'll have someone that'll say, well, I'm not going to work for less than this. So they see themselves as value. I hire the people who are like that because then what you do is you hold them accountable. I've had people that came to me and they said, okay, I want to make, I can't work for anything less than that. And I, I, this is what I did to them. I paid them a little bit more than that. And I told them in that interview session uh, or in the orientation session, I'm doing that because I believe that you're going to be valuable to the company, but I'm going to hold you fully accountable. And guess what? Some of the people I ended up letting go after a month, two, or even a year, because even though they said that outwardly, conscious, I need more, conscious mind, subconsciously, they didn't do the things that it was going to take to substantiate getting what they're going to, what they wanted to get paid. So it all comes down to what you're thinking or what, what that record is on your, in your subconscious mind. That's where every, like, whenever I see problems with employees, whenever I see some issues that I got to work on with myself, whenever I'm consulting with someone and trying to look at why their business is, isn't growing, it really comes down to what that record is, is playing in that subconscious mind. Because it's just like either you don't deserve it or either you don't do the things that it takes to uh, get you there. Like you're playing the record. It, it, it would be like this. You're playing a record that doesn't match what you say you want. You're playing a record that doesn't match what you're playing, what you're saying you want. And that record is in your subconscious mind. Thank you for your time. Post your questions. Post your comments. This is Stephen A. Williams with Making Money with Stephen A. Williams here on YouTube. Thank you for your time.